Open source projects like Kubernetes, Prometheus, Terraform, Jenkins are used almost everywhere in today's modern world. Contributing to these open source projects can create so many opportunities and you should contribute to them. But what if you are not a developer or someone who does not know how to write code? How can you contribute? So in this video, I will tell you five different ways of how you can contribute to open source projects without writing a single line of code. Let's go. The first and the most common way to get started with contributing to open source projects is through documentation. Documentation is super important for any open source projects because without any documentation, a user will not know how to actually use a product or how to fix issues whenever there's a problem. A open source tool can have incredible set of features, but without any proper documentation and without you knowing how to use it, it becomes less valuable. And this is where you can help. If you look at any DevOps tool, they have proper documentation, which helps engineers to solve issues whenever there's a problem. For example, if you look at Kubernetes, which is also an open source project, they have so good documentation and this documentation is created by people like you. So you can also contribute to open source projects through documentation. Now contributing to a documentation doesn't just mean writing manuals. It can be improving user guide or creating FAQs or even translating an existing documentation to another language. So it can be used by a broader set of audience. This is a very important work for adoption and proper use of any open source tool. Second way of contributing to an open source project without writing any code is by user testing. Open source projects are often tested in developer environments by the person who created it. But how is this software going to run in different platforms or operating system? This is where you come in. Contributing to any open source project through user testing means helping improve usability. All you need to do is get the software or the project in your machine. See how is it working? If you have any feedback, bugs or platform specific issues, you can report them back and this will help project become more friendly and more usable. Many open source projects like Linux distros and desktop applications rely heavily on user testing to filter out issues that might be overlooked by the developers. And to do this, you don't need to be a coder. You just need to use the software as any end user would do and report back your findings. That's how you can contribute to an open source project through user testing. Third way of contributing to any open source project is through community support. Open source community is based on collaboration and your knowledge can help somebody. So you can share your knowledge on platforms like Stack Overflow or GitHub or Wikis. In early days, Linux users used to rely on list serves or bulletin boards to solve their problems. Now we have Stack Overflow. In case we have any issues, we go and search for it on the Stack Overflow and we find answers from other people. This is one of the ways of contributing to the community by providing your knowledge. So by answering questions, writing blogs, creating videos, helping someone solve an issue, or even this, what I'm doing, which is educating new contributors is also one of the way of community contributions. So whether you might help a newcomer understand basics or maybe an advanced user to solve any problem, this is all count as a community contribution, which you can do without writing any code. Another way to contribute to an open source project without writing any code is by contributing them financially. So many open source projects have a limited budget and they need funding to keep the project going. This is where you can help. One of the easiest way to contribute to any project if you have money is by contributing them financially. You can donate to open source projects that you use frequently through platforms like Open Collective or GitHub sponsors. Financial supports help these open source projects to maintain their infrastructure, to pay for their developers and also to organize events that can help advocate or promote this open source project. <laughs> Lastly, the fifth way of contributing to any open source project without writing any code is by advocating and promoting the open source project. This is one of the powerful ways of contributing to any open source project because there are so many open source projects, but most of the people don't know of incredible features that a open source project has and if you write blogs or create videos or talk about different open source projects you are advocating a particular open source project for example you can do a poc or maybe give a talk about of how kubernetes can help you save money rather than using the monolith applications and so on this is also one of the ways of contributing to open source projects so by simply sharing your knowledge by speaking at tech events or writing blogs you can also contribute to open source projects so now we know so many different ways of contributing to an open source project without writing any code. 
Additionally, you can also contribute by volunteering into meetups, hackathons, or different tech events if you want to contribute. I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions, any doubt, do let me know in the comment section. And if you haven't started contributing to open source projects yet, please do. Because now you don't have any excuses of not knowing how to write code. Thank you and have a good day. Thank mm -hmm. you.